What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to replace the nozzle on your Bamboo Lab P1S 3D printer. Here I have the 0.6mm complete hot end assembly and at the end of this video I'm going to show you a Benchy that I printed in 18 minutes at 0.36mm layer height. And little spoiler, the quality of this print may surprise you. So the complete hot end assembly consists of the nozzle, a heat sink, a little fan, and all of this connects to your printer with two screws and two connectors. Now let's head over to my printer and swap out the original 0.4 millimeter nozzle. And you can start by taking off the front cover of the hot end. Now this is just a magnet so it comes off very easily and you can set it to the side. Start by removing two pin connectors on the right hand side of the hot end assembly. And then once those pin connectors are removed you can loosen off the screws on the top of the hot end assembly. Once those screws are loose, you will need to pull them out with your hands and then the nozzle should be able to just slide right out the bottom of the hot end. Make sure you wiggle out the wires from the wire clip on the right and then you can go ahead and start installing your new nozzle. Just repeat the steps in reverse, slide in the nozzle from the bottom, making sure you're not pinching any of the wires on the top. Then go ahead and put the two screws back into the top of the assembly and tighten those screws up. Make sure you go back and forth to make sure that the screws are tightened up evenly. And then here I find it is easier to take off the front cover and fan assembly. And then go ahead and take the larger bottom connector from your hot end assembly and tuck the wires into the wire clip on the right. And then you can go ahead and plug in the clip. Then just do the same for the smaller clip. Just put the wires into the wire clip and plug in the connector. Once you're all done, you can plug in the front plate with the fan at the very top connector and then place the front assembly back on the hot end with the magnets and you're all done. Okay, so now that you have installed a different diameter nozzle, make sure you go ahead and update that within Bamboo Studio. And I'm using the 0.6 millimeter nozzle, so I'm gonna click this one. Double check that your plate type is correct. And I'm gonna be using the official Bamboo PLA, so I'm gonna select this official Bamboo PLA setting. I'm gonna change my layer height to 0.36 millimeters to see how much we can push this nozzle and still have pretty decent print quality. I'm just gonna change the seam position to near so I can speed up a little bit of time and change the top and wall shell layers to be two. And then finally, I'm going to change the infill setting to be gyroid, because I like that one. You now see the printing time is just over 18 minutes for this Benchy. Now let's send it to the printer and see how it goes. Here you can see the super high definition time lapse of this Benchy printing with the 0.6 millimeter nozzle. And drum roll. You can see that the quality is quite terrible. Not only are the layers pretty thick as you would expect, there's also a lot of stringing, there's a lot of artifacts, and there's a lot of just imperfections on this Benchy. Now, I'm gonna be fixing this, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll show you how to improve the print quality of your P1S with a larger 0.6 millimeter nozzle. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.